Now I know this looks funny, but <laughs> just wait for this word that I'm going to give you guys. I uh, was laying here in prayer and that's what I like to do. I come in my office and put my worship music on and I just lay on my face and uh, meditate, you know, on the word that I just got done reading or studying. And I will lay here on my face like this. Flat on my face now, just pray to God, you know, until I feel like he gives me a download or until, you know, I feel like he touches me or something. Right. And so as I, as I was laying here praying, I kind of just looked to my left. And I saw, I think, like a little ant just crawling across the carpet. And from this perspective where I'm sitting, I'm like, man, that ant, if he had to walk from that side of the room to that side of the room, is going to be a long journey. And from where that, you know, ant is sitting, his perspective and because of his size, he's looking across that carpet. And he's like, man, it's a long way to get from that wall to that wall, you know, and I saw like a little string. I said, man, look how, how tiny that is. And immediately I felt God, you know, speak to me. And he wanted me to get on this live and just tell you guys, you know, from where God sits, right? You're like the little ant on this carpet and you're just moving along, right? Imagine that from where I'm laying, the children of Israel were just crossing in front of me, right? And they're just really tiny and they're really small. And the journey looks so long to them. But from where God is sitting, right, it's like he's up here and he's looking down and he can see the whole thing. He sees the children of Israel trying to get from here to here, right? And if you're down here from this perspective, it looks so small. There's so many unknowns on this journey. But from where God sits, he sees every angle he sits so high, right? He sits so high, he knows every direction the enemy is going to attack you. He knows from every side the enemy will try to come against you. He knows the mountains you've got to climb. He knows the ups. He knows the downs. He knows all of it. And this is why we walk by faith and not by sight. God is speaking a word over you, right? You're out here on this journey. He says, keep going. He's saying, look, all things work together. I know that the place you are right now, right? You've come to the Red Sea. It looks like a dead end, but I can see on the other side of the Red Sea, you, you're stuck right here. It's too big for you, right? From, from this perspective, it's too big for you. You can't see what's on the other side because you're all the way down here. And God is saying, look, trust me on the other side of this. There's a promise on the other side of this. There's a breakthrough on the other side of this. There is a blessing. I can see it. I know. And matter of fact, I'm the one that put it there. I'm the one that spoke it. I'm the one that brought you from this place to this place. And because my word says I'm going to finish what I started in you, I'm going to take you from this place to this place to this place. If you simply trust and believe me. So if I tell you, look, there's a promised land here on the other side of the Red Sea, on the other side of this wilderness. I know from where you look, you can't see it, but you got to believe and you've got to trust me. And that just kind of just blew my mind because sometimes we're looking at situations and from the perspective we're at, it looks impossible. And God is looking from a perspective. He's saying it's already done. It's already finished. When Jesus died on the cross, he said, it is finished. I know that you're right here and you're in your sin. I know that you're right here and you don't feel delivered. I know that you're right here and you feel stuck. But for where I am looking, I'm alpha and I'm omega. I'm at the beginning and I'm at the end. And my word says, I'm going to bring you to an expected end. From where I'm sitting, I can see you being free. I can see you being whole. I can see you being in the promised land. All I need you to do is trust me. That's it. All I need you to do is just trust my word. And what's so crazy, right? The Bible says we are seated with him in heavenly places. So the reason that I come down here, right, in my office, and I just, this is literally what I do. I, I study, I read my word, and then I pray. And I get on my face like this, right? And I just begin to pray, 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 pray. And then at some point, I just go silent. And I start listening. 
and I start meditating. And so then what happens is, right, we're seated with him in heavenly places. It's like he takes you, right? Say you're down here, you're depressed, you're discouraged, you're defeated. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, right? He takes me from this place and this perspective and he elevates me. And he sometimes will allow you to sit up in heavenly places and see it, okay, from his perspective. Oh, man, when I was down here, I couldn't see myself free. I couldn't see myself being blessed. I couldn't see myself being victorious. But now God has brought me up to a place and, oh, man, I can see it. Without a vision, the people perish. I can see myself being free. I can see myself being loved. I can see myself coming out of the wilderness and going into the promised land. I can see myself change. I can see myself not addicted anymore. And so sometimes God will bring you up, give you a word, give you a vision. Because he said, without a vision, you perish. And then now I go back and I'm back in the fight and I'm down here again. And this is the reality right? My reality from the carnal man, this is what I see. This is what's in front of me right now. And I got this magnifying glass, right? Now notice how that enlarges what is behind me. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Lord. God is about to expand some of your vision in the spirit. He's about to let you see some things. Look how big I don't want to do that because people can say, oh, he's in the Illuminati. But when you get in the spirit, he begins to expand and enlarge your vision. Matter of fact, look at this. When I get in the word of God and I start reading it, this is what the Holy Spirit does. It begins to magnify and begin to show you things that you didn't see before. And the things that it's going to show you, right, is going to change the way that you look at this. I was looking at Goliath. I was looking at the giant. I was looking at these situations, and yes, it's true. It's too big for me. Yes, it's true. It's too hard for me. But remember, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. And now I can move and not faint. Now I can run and not be weary. Yes, I'm in the wilderness. Yes, I'm in the lion's den. Yes, I'm in the pit. Yes, I'm in a bad situation. But if I wait on the Lord, if I wait on him, He's going to let me mount up with wings like eagles and I can soar. I can keep moving. I can keep going. I can keep pressing. But the thing is, when I'm down here, how am I waiting? When I'm down here and it looks like there's hellfire all around me, I have to remind myself who my God is. Now watch this. Magnify the Lord with me. Not my problems, not my issues. Not these devils magnify the Lord with me. When I'm in this low pace, low place, I start magnifying the Lord. When I'm in this low place, I start calling on him. Even if I'm in a dark place, look, you might come to a certain situation. It's dark. I can't see nothing. It's completely dark. But I begin to call on the name of Jesus in that dark place. Some of us, it gets dark and we say, oh, I guess it's time to go to sleep. Just because it's dark don't mean it's time to go to sleep. Just because it's dark don't mean it's time to lay down. Maybe when it's dark, that's the time that God is looking for you to rise up and reach for the light. So I just wanted to give you guys that, that quick word, man. I'm, I'm not even joking. I'm, I, was, I, was, I was just laying here, sitting here meditating, getting ready for this video. I'm getting ready to do it, Alan Parr. And I, I just looked up and I saw that little ant making his little journey. And the Lord said, from where that ant looks, it looks like such a long journey. But from where I sit, I can see all of it, right? I can see everything. He's alpha, he's omega. When he created everything, right? He created time and space. We see that in the Bible. He sits outside of time and space. Time and space does not contain God. It contains us. So you sit in there and say, man, I'm waiting for God to do this. I'm waiting for this to happen. And why is it not happening on my timing? And you say, man, it's been such a long time. I've been waiting such a long time because you are contained by time. But God is not. He sits outside of it. So what time looks like to you is not what time looks like to God. Think about that. Love you guys. Be blessed. Be encouraged in Jesus' name.